Boscoff's is a family-owned department store that started in 1914. Thank you for your suggestion. Home Shopping Network specialty retailers, other department stores, nobody beats the prices at Boscov's. Deluxe Heritage, 42-inch four-blade hugger-style ceiling fans, $29.99. Save $20 off list on a Toastmaster oven-sized six-slice toaster oven broiler, $39.99. Enjoy healthier cooking in a Chef Master hot air confection oven, only $79.99. Quality products, the lowest prices every day at Boscov's. The first Boscoffs opened in 1914 in Reading, Pennsylvania. Solomon Boscoff immigrated to the United States in 1911 with only about $12 in his pocket. After a fruitless search for work in Washington, D.C., he traveled to Reading, Pennsylvania. In Reading, Boscoff could communicate better because many inhabitants spoke Pennsylvania Dutch, which had similarities to Boscoff's native Yiddish. Boscoff used the little money he had to buy dry goods, which he rolled into a sack and peddled to farmers and homemakers. People liked Boscoff. He was warm, honest, and had a great sense of humor. In a short time, he established a route of regular customers throughout Lancaster and Bucks counties. Boscov traveled his route on foot and did chores in exchange for lodging. Within a year, Boscov had saved enough money to buy a horse and wagon and to increase his inventory. He became a partner in a general merchandise store and eventually went into business for himself, opening a dry goods store in his family's living room at the corner of 9th and Pike Streets in Reading. Word of Boscov's fair prices and quality merchandise spread quickly and his business thrived. Boscov expanded only a year after opening his first store. By 1913, his store occupied all of the rows of houses on the street. Boscov's son, Albert, who began working there full time in 1954, inherited his father's charisma and love of the deal. As a boy, he often listened while his father chatted with late-night customers and watched him cut prices for people with little money. In 1954, Albert took on the leadership role in the company. He, along with his brother-in-law, Edwin Lakin, set about renovating and enlarging the old store. Albert made the company's newspaper ads larger. In 1962, Albert opened a second Boscoff's, a full-service department store in suburban Reading. Albert shared his father's business philosophies. He was a hands-on manager who made friends with the customers. Albert's innovations helped quadruple the company's sales in less than two years. The Boscoff family endured its share of hardship in the late 1960s. In February of 1967, a fire destroyed the original Boscoffs at 9th and Pike Streets. A new 60,000 square foot store, referred to as Boscoffs East, was built in its place. The opening ceremony for the store was spectacular, but short. While the Boscoff family was busy greeting customers, scooping ice cream, and ringing up sales at the Boscoff's East, the second store, Boscoff's West, was burning to the ground. Fire gutted the store, and the Boscoffs were devastated. Many customers shared the family's grief over the loss of their store. Calls swamped the switchboard, and letters arrived in bulk from loyal customers encouraged the Boscoffs to rebuild. And they did. Boscoff's West reopened in 1968. Solomon, Boscoff's founder, passed away in 1969. By 1968, Boscoff had five stores, 2,200 workers, and annual sales exceeding $50 million. 
Moskov spread beyond Reading in 1872 with the opening of a store in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. The Lebanon store was the first of many expansions, all within a 150-mile radius of Reading. The company proceeded to open many stores in the Mid-Atlantic region, which encompasses Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, New Jersey, and New York. In a time when retail stores were specializing in consolidating, Voskos decided to remain a true department store, offering everything from athletic wear to kitchen knives. Voskov put a strong emphasis on the store's toy departments, which featured dolls, trains, books, games, and remote controlled cars and trucks. The stores carried all of the major brands and offered the company's own brands as well. In 1980, Boscoffs bought Fowler, Dick & Walker, the Boston store. Boscoffs opened its first location outside of Pennsylvania at the Dover Mall in Dover, Delaware in August of 1982. Boscoffs first entered the Philadelphia market in the late 1980s by opening Ports of the World outlet stores. These stores would later be rebranded as Boscoff's sometime in the mid-1990s. By 2005, the chain had 39 stores, generating about $1 billion in sales. In 2006, Albert Boscoff, the son of Solomon Boscoff, retired and his nephew, Kenneth Lakin, became chairman and chief executive. Lakin led an aggressive expansion of the chain, opening 10 new stores by 2008. Boscoffs acquired these locations from Federated Department Stores following the merger with the Make Department Stores Company. The new stores did not perform as expected. In August of 2008, just prior to the 2008 economic downturn, Boscoffs filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Albert Boscoff came out of retirement and regained control of the company. As part of the bankruptcy, 10 stores were closed and the company emerged from bankruptcy in September of 2009. Albert had said he was embarrassed by the bankruptcy and felt he had let the customers, suppliers, and co-workers down. Together, Albert and Lakin put together a $305 million deal to buy the business back. On February 10, 2017, the legendary president and pillar in his community, Albert Boscoff, died from pancreatic cancer at the age of 87. The chain is now headed by his nephew, Jim Boscoff. The Boscoff chain continues to grow. There were over 50 locations in Connecticut, Delaware, Maryland, New Jersey, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Rhode Island. So what are some of your favorite memories of this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. Be sure to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.